Meet Brad Howder. Brad's got big dreams. No, not to walk on the moon or hit a home run to win the World Series. No, Brad's dream is to drive his yard man riding mower across the country, becoming the first person to cross America entirely on grass since Dennis Hopper and Easy Rider. Yeah, hitch it a ride with Brad Hodder, the yard man. A little more than halfway through a cross-country trip. Number three, Lawnmower Man, finishing his second cross-country trip. Started in San Fran in March, finishes in New York. Yardman, start. In 1999, Brad Hodder made a journey no one had ever attempted, traveling 4,000 miles from Atlanta to L.A. on a riding lawnmower in 67 days. In 2003, he did it again, this time traveling 5,600 miles from San Francisco to New York. There were a lot of yards to mow and obstacles to overcome along the way. Well, and Brad Howder joins us live to talk all about it. He's now the head men's soccer coach at DePaul University. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. So this happened a long time ago, and the, there's articles being written about it again. What is the, it, is there something new? Are you doing this again? Or do you think people are just intrigued with this story still, Brad? Uh, t I would love to do it again. I think two times is not enough. Um, I'm not exactly sure what the resurgence is. You know, it was, uh, both of the rides were to benefit Keep America Beautiful, to draw some awareness and attention to a great cause and the great work that they do. Um, and so I guess every now and then when it pops back up into the headlines somewhere, this lawnmower trip comes up. And to go back in time here a little bit, talking about the lawnmower, you actually rigged this lawnmower so it could go up to like 25 miles an hour. Did I read that right? You did read that right. I did not rig it. I do not have those kind of technical <laughs> skills. The people at Yardman would change the transmission to allow this to go 25 miles an hour. And we actually had the lawnmower stolen in San Antonio on Easter Sunday on the second trip. And Walmart was gracious enough to give us uh, one of their Yardman lawnmowers that was on the, the, the showroom floor. And my goodness, when you go from 25 miles an hour down to eight miles an hour, it is painful. Yeah. So you are a soccer guy too. You're the uh, soccer coach at DePaul. Are you, do you, is this just a blip in time for you that you happen <laughs> to ride this lawnmower? Or are you, I mean, and now you're all about soccer. What's your life been like? Oh, it, well, I, my life's been crazy. Yes, yeah, soccer has been kind of the foundational piece. I was a soccer coach when I, I first um, partnered up with Keep America Beautiful for this. And soccer has been throughout. I've, I've had some opportunities right now. I'm the host of a, a TV show called Coop Dreams on RFD TV, where we talk about homesteading. It's kind of a, a connection to Keep America Beautiful about sustainability, reduce, reuse, recycle. And uh, it's the crazy world of homesteading. We just had a goat, a baby goat born about three hours ago. So I've been up for about five hours being huh. a, a, uh, yeah, being a, a physician's assistant for our goat. Wow, and I, I'm still intrigued about this lawnmower ride because you think like it'd be easy. Was there any like, uh, how did it affect your body riding on that thing? Were you cramped up at the end, like going that far and that long on a lawnmower? It was, it was actually great. We probably averaged 15 to 20 interviews a day. So I was off of the lawnmower a lot and, and talking to uh, radio stations, newspapers, TV stations as we were coming through town. So it wasn't bad there. The difficult part was I got careless. When, when, I think when you do something for 60 some days in a row, you, you can blink a little bit and, and lose your focus. And I, I put it in neutral in the mountains of Utah and I got it up to 60 miles an hour. I was trying to see how fast it could go. And we crashed, oh. and so broke my arm on that. That was the only uncomfortable part about the whole trip. You still mow your lawn on a riding mower? I do. I do. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I mean, there's something so peaceful yeah. about it. There's no phone. You just put oh. your uh, podcast on or something. You just got. Well, it's great to talk to you, Brad. Hope uh, hope life treats you well. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. All right. Take care. Top stories coming up next.